My name is Paul Bernhardt and I'm here um, with my team. We are building exhibits for the new Perot Museum of Nature and Science, which is, the building is up now in downtown Dallas. And in the first quarter of 2013, the museum will open. It's gonna have four floors, 10 galleries of exhibits, science exhibits, dinosaurs, engineering, the human body, biology, uh, energy, and of course, gems and minerals. And we're, one of the galleries that we're working on that we're showing here today is the 2,500 square foot hall of gems and minerals. And it's not a large hall as halls go, but we're really planning to pack this hall with gem and mineral exhibits um, and a great collection. The opening of the museum will feature the specimens of Texas collectors. So we'll have about 35 cases with the very best of Texas collectors on loan, and some of these are great specimens. And not only will we have these specimens in the cases, one of the features of the hall is a, is a special exhibit called the Mineral Matrix. It will feature nine HD screens with HD video of minerals from collectors all over the country, including Texas collectors, and you'll get to see nine things that have the same crystal structure, or nine things that are yellow that might be a different mi mineral but have the same color, or nine calcites that are all the same mineral with very different shapes. So a lot of features, there's interactive touch tables and a lot of minerals, and Another feature that's worth looking at is in the overhead. It's a tall space, about 16 feet high, so in the overhead there are giant sculptures of crystal habits. Everything from this giant arch of pyrite cubes that you'll see when you walk into the hall to habits, a botryoidal habit or a typical quartz cluster, and a lot of other exciting features. So if you're interested in minerals, you'll definitely need to make a trip down to Dallas within uh, the next year or so when the new Perot Museum opens.